He was born into a Roman Catholic family in Buckinghamshire, England. He studied at Oxford and received a generous library donation from his mentor. He served in the household of Prince Charles and was knighted by James I. His name is Kenelm Digby. Kenelm Digby, a man shaped by his family's Roman Catholic background, was born into gentry stock in Gayhurst, Buckinghamshire, England. His father's involvement in the gunpowder plot led to his execution, leaving Kenelm to navigate a world colored by his family's religious adherence. Despite these challenges, Digby found favor with James I, even being proposed as a member of Edmund Bolton's Royal Academy. Digby's thirst for knowledge led him to Gloucester Hall, Oxford, where he studied under the tutelage of Thomas Allen. Although he left without obtaining a degree, Digby's connection with Allen would prove significant. In a generous gesture, Allen bequeathed his library to Digby, who, in turn, donated it to the Bodleian. Eager to broaden his horizons, Digby embarked on a three-year journey across the continent from 1620 to 1623. It was during this time that he caught the attention of Marie de Medici, who became infatuated with him. In 1623, Digby found himself in Madrid, serving in the household of Prince Charles. His return to England that same year brought him knighthood from James I, as well as an appointment as gentleman of the Privy Chamber to Charles. Digby's intellectual pursuits were further recognized when he was granted a Cambridge MA during the King's visit to the university in 1624. Digby's life was marked by a deep understanding of the cyclical nature of existence. He once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, reflecting his belief in the interconnectedness of past, present, and future. This philosophical concept influenced his approach to knowledge and shaped his unique worldview. Kenelm Digby, a prominent figure in 17th century England, was known for his diverse interests and accomplishments. Born in 1603, Digby's career took various twists and turns, from his involvement in politics to his adventures as a privateer. Despite facing obstacles due to his religious beliefs, he remained resilient and adaptable. In 1625, Digby married Venetia Stanley, a woman whose courtship he cryptically detailed in his memoirs. As a Roman Catholic, his religious affiliation prevented him from holding government office, so he made the decision to convert to Anglicanism. This allowed him to become a member of the Privy Council of Charles I of England. Digby's life took a daring turn when he became a privateer in 1627. Commanding his flagship, the Eagle, he embarked on a series of maritime expeditions. Along the way, he captured Spanish and Flemish vessels off the coast of Gibraltar and engaged in battles with French and Venetian ships near Iskandron. His victories, however, came with risks, as they exposed English merchants to potential reprisals. Tragedy struck Digby's life in 1633 when his wife Venetia passed away suddenly. Overwhelmed by grief and facing suspicion from the crown, he sought solace in scientific experimentation and a return to Catholicism. Taking refuge in Gresham College, he immersed himself in botanical experiments conducted alongside Hungarian chemist Johannes Banfi Hunyades. Despite his personal struggles, Digby continued to pursue professional endeavors. He obtained regional monopolies, such as the exclusive rights to produce sealing wax in Wales and the Welsh borders. He also ventured into more speculative ventures, seeking monopolies for trade with the Gulf of Guinea and Canada. Kenelm Digby's career exemplifies resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. His ability to navigate political and religious obstacles, as well as his ventures as a privateer and scientific experimenter, demonstrate his determination to overcome challenges. Digby's story serves as an inspiration, reminding us to embrace change, explore new paths, and find strength in the face of hardships. Kenelm Digby, a renowned philosopher and scholar, found himself facing a complex and intriguing chapter in his life. In the year 1625, he entered into matrimony with Venetia Stanley, a woman of great beauty and allure. Together, they embarked on a journey of love and companionship, blessed with the gift of six sons. Their union seemed to flourish, a testament to their deep bond and shared values. However, amidst the joyous chaos of their growing family, a lingering mystery surrounded their youngest child, Marjorie. Born around the year 1625, Marjorie's paternity became a subject of much controversy and confusion. Rumors whispered of Venetia's alleged affairs with both the third and fourth earls of Dorset, leaving open the question of which earl was truly Marjorie's father. While Kenelm Digby never mentioned Marjorie in his writings, historical records reveal that she went on to marry Edward Dudley of Clopton and even bore at least one child. The Earl of Dorset, whoever he may have been, settled an annuity on Marjorie, further adding to the intrigue surrounding her parentage. The truth remained shrouded in a veil of uncertainty, forever a tantalizing enigma. Through his philosophical endeavors, Kenelm Digby sought to understand the complexities of life and human nature. 
His exploration of knowledge and truth extended beyond the realms of academia and into the intimate corners of his own existence. The uncertainty surrounding Marjorie's parentage mirrored the inherent ambiguities of life itself, reminding Digby of the profound mysteries that lie hidden beneath the surface of our daily lives. In his contemplations, Digby recognized that navigating such uncertainties required a delicate balance of reason and empathy. He understood that life's complexities often defy simple explanations, and that the truth may be elusive, even when we yearn for clarity. It is in these moments of uncertainty that Digby's philosophy shines the brightest, guiding us to embrace the beauty of ambiguity and find solace in the acceptance of life's inherent mysteries. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.